Hello children, today we shall learn about simple interest. As we saw in the story, Kisan Singh borrowed money from Paisamal as he had shortfall of money. And for borrowing the money, he deposited his oxen to Paisamal. Later, Kisan Singh again took a loan from Paisamal by depositing his wife's jewelry to him. But that is not same as borrowing some money from a close friend. When you borrow some money from a friend, say for a ice cream, you have to return just what you have borrowed. Correct? But when people borrow money from money lenders or bank, they have to pay some extra money besides the money they borrowed. That extra money is the profit of the bank or the money lender. Paisamal used to lend money to people and charge them extra money which was his profit. When people were unable to repay him, he took away their belongings. Thus, Paisamal became rich. But banks also charge extra money when we borrow money from bank as a loan. Then why did Aman give idea to go for bank loan instead of going to Paisamal? Because banks charges lesser extra money on the borrowed money than Paisamal. Then how much extra money do we have to pay when we borrow money? What does this depend on? How did Aman figure that bank loan was a better idea and saved his father from being looted by Paisamal? Let's try to understand that. What we borrow, that is the borrowed amount, is called the principal or the borrowed sum. The money we have to pay extra is called interest. So, more interest means you have to pay back more. Paisamal charged people with high interest. So, people couldn't repay loans and hence he used to take away their belongings. Can interest be anything? No, interest depends on how much you have borrowed and how long you will take to repay the loan. And one more thing, and that is interest rate. The interest rate tells you what you need to pay extra if you borrow 100 rupees for one year. It is the interest per 100. So we use percentage to express it. So interest rate of 12% means 12 rupees of interest on every 100 rupees in a year. We say it is like 12% interest per year or per annum. We can write 12% P dot A that is 12% per annum. So now you can find the amount you have to pay at the end of the year by adding the sum borrowed that is principal and the interest that is the amount to be paid back is equal to principal plus interest. If you take 2000 rupees as loan at 12% interest for a year, what would be the interest? 12 rupees interest in every hundred. And let us see how many hundreds are there in 2000. We have to do 2000 divided by 100 to find the number of hundreds in 2000 and that is 20. So 12 rupees interest in 100 and how many rupees interest in 20 hundreds? Simple 20 multiplied by 12 that is 240 rupees. So to find interest for one year we divide principal 
by 100 and we multiply that with the interest rate. That is if we borrow 2000 rupees for one year at 12% interest rate, it means we have to pay 2000 divided by 100 multiply by 12 which is equal to 240 rupees that is 240 rupees of interest we have to pay for that principal which we borrowed from our lender in that year let us express principal by p and interest by r so one year's interest is p divided by 100 multiply by r now if we have to repay this loan after 5 years the interest would be 5 times p by 100 into r so let us express the time by t so interest will be principal multiply by time multiply by interest rate divided by 100 in story Aman heard that Paisamal demanded 2500 rupees as interest on 10,000 rupees for a year. Aman himself calculated the interest rate. Interest is equal to 2500, time is equal to 1 year and principal is equal to 10,000 rupees. So he found out R by putting all the values. 2500 is equal to 10,000 multiply by 1 multiply by R divided by 100 or 2500 multiply by 100 is equal to 10,000 multiply by R or 250,000 divided by 10,000 is equal to R that is R is equal to 25. 25% interest rate which was more than double what the bank was charging. So Aman gave idea to villagers to go for bank loan and hence villagers were able to repay the bank loan as the interest was low. That is they have to pay lesser extra money for the principal borrowed. This way when interest is calculated on a fixed principal that interest is called simple interest. So now we know about simple interest. That is all for today children. Bye bye.